couple of months ago, Medusa did this incredible remix for Supermode Tell Me Why. And the bass line just got everybody going crazy. Now I'm gonna show you how it's done using Serum. Let's go! So let's start with pulling an instance of Serum right here. The mid bass MIDI is already drawn in. We're gonna go with basic MINI and just a simple saw. We're gonna tune it two octaves down because it's a bass line. Let's have a quick listen. What do we need to do? Firstly, let's assign envelope 2 to the cutoff. I'm gonna pull this down so I don't have to do it later. And we're gonna select our MG24 filter. I'm gonna lift it up just like a tiny little bit and pull this down over and pull the envelope sustain down. Let's put the resonance down and put the drive all the way up. And before I push play, let me just put the volume down. Let's put the attack to 4 milliseconds, the decay about one and a half second, some release and let's pull down this little. Let's put the cut off a little bit higher. Now let's fix the envelope one. Just gonna raise the attack to 10 milliseconds and just give it a little bit more release. Let's get rid of the randomness and let's move the face about 240 degrees. So we have some more click there. We need to add the compressor. I'm gonna set it to multiband, put highs all the way down, keep the lows and put the mids all the way up. Let's put the attack to about 40 milliseconds, release to about 160 and put the threshold down about minus 12. So it nicely raises up the mids. Okay, next up, I'm gonna add an EQ. Let's just make it nice here. Now we're just gonna raise the mids a little bit. 800 hertz and just pull it up and let's pull this down a little bit and we wanna go crazy, so about this. Now let's add just a tiny little bit of reverb just before the compression. We don't have to go super super crazy, we just wanna put this down and just a little bit. Some low cut. Okay, now I'm pretty happy. At this point, I would suggest adding a little bit of side chaining. So I'm gonna be using the LFO tool. Let me just put it right in and let's drag down this first point. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And while you edit, hit that bell button so you won't miss any future uploads. Let's go into the Ableton's effects. Let's take multiband dynamics and let's put it on. And we're gonna just play around with the values. Turn off the low end. We're gonna work with the mids and the high end. Let's go for about seven and a half kilohertz for the high. Right now, it doesn't do anything. We need to work with the below and above values. I'm gonna change the below to about minus 25 and on the high end about minus 40. Now let's put the highs to about 8 decibels and mids input to about 7 and the output of the mids let's go for 11 dB and let's turn this down by also 11 dB otherwise it's going to be super loud. Starting to sound like something let's change the below of this one to minus 40. Now let's work with the above let's go with minus 70 over here and about minus 25 here. Can increase the ratio a little bit right here. And now let's raise the high end almost all the way up. Some mids. Now let's bring in the equalizer and let's get rid of the low end somewhere around 100 hertz. And let's get rid of some of the high end as well. Push this down a little. Now in the original there is a little bit of delay on this mid bass that we actually don't want to have. So let's echo, let's put it in and we're gonna set it to the notes and dot it. And we're gonna go with 116 and 18 dotted. The dry weight we're gonna set to 100% and the feedback to about 25. Now we're gonna play with the EQ over here. Firstly, let's check our low cut, about 700 hertz and the top about three and a half thousand and resonance just like a tiny little bit over here, over there. We're gonna group this, create chain 
and we're gonna sidechain this echo. Let's put a compressor in, we're gonna sidechain it with the mid bass, because we want the mid bass to duck down a little bit when this all happens. And now let's have a play. Let's increase the feedback just a tiny little bit and let's add a little bit of reverb. I think the bass line is a little bit too quiet, so let's raise it up. And let's take this down by about 6 dB. Now let's close the chain up so it doesn't get in the way and let's move that LFO tool to the end. We need to work with the attack and release of the multiband dynamics. Let's set this one up. I'm gonna go for attack about 80 milliseconds on the highs and about 100 on the lows. Let's increase the release. Sometimes if you want to add something of yourself, you can make it a tiny little bit different. You can add the phaser maybe on top, put the ray down, let's put the feet all the way down, mixed 50% and let's play with the depth and frequency. If you would like to learn more and dig deeper into music production, check out readyformasterclass.com. Ready for Masterclass now has over 1000 students and the feedback from all of them really warms my heart. So if you would like to make better music, make sure to sign up and check out our courses, sample packs or preset packs. And now let's do the sub bass. So for the sub bass, again, we're gonna use Serum. This is gonna be pretty simple. We just need one note. Again, we're gonna put it two octaves down. Before we do anything, I'm gonna add the side chain so it plays nice with our kick and we're gonna adjust. Let's put the randomness all the way down. Let's keep the shape as is for now. Let's put the low filter. I'm gonna go for MG24 again. Put the resonance down. Cut it just a tiny little bit more. And let's add one more basic shape over here from basic mini and we'll look for a sign. Again, we're gonna put it two octaves down. And we're just gonna decrease the randomness and again just find what it sounds really cool. I would say I'm pretty happy. Let's see how they sound together. Uh, one last thing I would do because I'm just gonna raise that high a little bit on the bass just to make it a little bit more punchy. When you look at their track, they're actually playing with that mid bass just like a tiny little bit. I'm gonna be automating this amount. So let's turn the automation on, let's click on that and how they, they open it up just like a little bit in the beginning, then it goes a little bit more down. Let's get rid of some more of the low end. And that's it guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And before you go, consider subscribing and hit that bell button so you won't miss any future uploads. Thank you very much and see you next time. Ciao. And if you're still watching guys, check out my Patreon where I actually uploaded the project for you so you can use it, open it up and play around with this baseline.